Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy T, putting the G in Geek, coming to you with another episode of On The Hunt. You know, the weekly web series where I kind of tell you guys the hot books that I'm looking for. Um, I gotta start this video off by saying, you know, this isn't really investment advice. This isn't really financial advice. You know what I mean? This is just for fun. We're just trying to get some of the hot books that cover price, so don't spend your rent money. Uh, another point of this video is to share information, share information with each other, share information with me. I don't know what you're getting. I may want to get it. The day is young. It's the best day of the week. Comic day. So let's get right to it. First, I just want to start off by saying, you know, I'm sorry, guys. Last week, you know, some things came up, some real life there. I couldn't really get the video completed. I know how it is, you know, kind of sucked but hey man we're back we're back the schedule is going to be back on you know what i mean we're going to be back better than ever so uh let's get right into it man we're going to start out with marvel the first book i'm going to pick up from marvel this week is moon girl and devil dinosaur number 32 um this is the first appearance of princess fisk uh, it might have, you know, I'm really interested to see how they play out with her character, so that might be interesting. Um, the next book I'm going to pick up is Miss Marvel number 31. Um, there's supposed to be a mega surprise ending, in the, uh, like a mega surprise ending at the end of this book. I don't know if it's supposed to be introducing a new character or whatnot, but definitely something kind of cool, something I'm going to get. Uh, the next thing I'd pick up is just for the cover, I'm going to go with that Miss Marvel number 31, the Stephanie Hands B cover. Um, this is a really, really nice hands. I do love it. I love the way she's showing her. I love how she's pulling up the mask with just one eye, the blowing the bubble, the painted look. It's awesome. Um, for some, they're actually saying that this will rival Batgirl number 23 as cover of the year. Uh, we shall see. I mean, either way, is mid companies like Midtown and stuff like that, they're limiting it every... Uh, they're limiting limiting this variant to one per customer so who knows it might see the same heat we're just gonna have to see personally I think that's something to get for sure uh, the next book I'm gonna pick up is Venom number three uh, Kate's is doing an amazing job in this series plus the god of the symbiotes uh, is gonna be introduced in this and plus Kate's is always introducing a bunch of characters writing stories really well so you know what I mean I'm definitely gonna check that out especially with that and with that I might actually because of that first appearance and the character actually Actually does look cool I might grab Venom number three the George Molina variant it depends I heard it's doing crazy things on eBay but I mean that's day one and I'm more of I'm more of a kind of, you know, I don't really, I'm not really into the day one flip, but uh, the God Symbiote character does look cool, so, I mean, this might be worth getting the incentive, uh, and it could have a lower than normal print run, you know what I mean, so as long as you're not really overpaying for that, I'd go for that. Um, next, from Marvel, I'd just move on to some covers, that's really all there is for events, and the first cover I would pick up, or the only, actually this week, is the Century Number 1, the Pyong Jun Jiang variant. I really like this cover. Um, I really like how he looks. It looks nice and painted. He's kind of got a dark look. It's smoky the way he's kind of reaching out at the cover. I do like the cover just for the art. Um, I would never overpay if this... Uh, I. I read somewhere that this is an incentive variant, but I couldn't find out the exact ratio. So if this is a 1 to 25 and they want like 20 bucks for it, never. I would maybe pay 8. I don't even know if I'd pay that because I really don't have any care about the character or belief in the book. I just like the cover. So yeah, that's going to do it for Marvel. Next, we're going to move on to some DC and only really one book that's hot from DC this week to me, aside from some covers, and that is Titan Special number 1, or Teen Titan Special number 1. Um, rumor has it that this is supposed to be the first appearance of The Crush, which is going to be Lobo's daughter. Uh, it seems to be trending hard on the web, a lot of people kind of talking about it. Um, I've heard a lot of people got kind of under-ordered, you know, like even our... Um, even we weren't fulfilled fully, so good luck with finding that. I suggest, I'm sure that stores are going to be limiting that one, and I would definitely grab yourself a copy of that. We'll have to see what happens with Lobo's Daughter as a character. And then I would just move on to some covers. The first book I'd pick up just for the cover is Batgirl number 24, the Joshua Middleton B cover. Uh, this is a great cover. I don't think it will match the 23 heat, but it's still really nice. Uh, I do like how it's kind of, I, I think it's really clean. The art on it's definitely clean. It's one of the cleaner Middletons. I don't like what he did with Aquaman. I kind of find that to be his messier work. I find this to be cleaner with the, the skeleton and stuff like that. It's really cool. Uh, the next book I'd pick up is Detective Comics number 983, the Mark Brooks B cover. Uh, this is a decent cover. I love the numerous kind of Batman suits in the background. Uh, Brooks covers rarely heat up though, so I would only grab this if you're really loving it. 
using it. I just like it. I don't love it. So we'll have to see how it feels in my hands. It's kind of good. Thematically, it's decent though. Uh, and the last book I'd pick up just for the cover is The Flash number 49, the Francesco Mattina B cover. Uh, I always grab Mattina's baby, especially for cover price. So I do like how wild-eyed the Flash looks on this cover. He looks really, you know what I mean? He just looks, I don't know, I don't know, crazy. It looks awesome. So, and again, Matina's for cover price. I'm always picking those up, so gotta go with that, and that's what we're getting from DC. Rolling right along, we're gonna hit up Image next, and the first book I'm gonna pick up from Image is Analog Number 1, the C2E2 variant. Uh, the film option kind of makes this book interesting, although I heard that they're letting retailers just order the C2E2, so, you know, that might actually show up at your store. Um, if you really believe in the film option, even then, I mean, option, that doesn't mean green-lighted, so I would still maybe pay 10 for the C2E2. I'm not really trying to pay large, you never even know where that movie Specker News is going to go, you never really know what's going to happen, so... I wouldn't overpay on that unless you love it and you really love the series and you know what I mean even then um, I'm not really trying to see over 20 or so like not honestly even if I loved it I wouldn't be trying to pay over 20 for it um, the next book I'm gonna pick up is blood strike number 23 or I don't know Br blood strike brutalist I don't know they have a little subtitle on the name um, Rob Liefeld got jokes for sure uh, I'm liking the kind of the Rob Liefeld cover where it's got the first cover appearance of the pouch kind of a ridiculous character Character, but hey, first appearance, Rob Liefeld. It's, it's kind of cool that he's poking fun at himself and stuff like that. It's always fun to see guys who are kind of aware of, you know, maybe their, you know, their shticks or whatever the people kind of see them for and kind of be able to poke fun at themselves. So that's kind of going to be great. And I'll definitely grab that. Um, and that's about it from Image. We're going to get into some Boom Studios. Only really one book from Boom. And that is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Anniversary Special. Number one, uh, the Raza Virgin variant. Again, I couldn't really find a ratio to this. So I'm not really sure if it's just a B cover that's going to be around. The fact that it's a virgin, I'm pretty sure it's going to be incentive. Um, I love how the cover almost has a photorealistic look to it um, it's awesome Raza does good work I do think he's an up-and-coming star but again I don't know I don't like Power Rangers enough to really be trying to be paid 25 for the variant or anything like that um, if I saw this variant for 10 or under maybe I would grab it it is good work again I think Raza has a bright future I think having some of his stuff is really gonna turn out good in the end um, yeah and that's about it from boom next we're gonna move on to Dark Horse and there's uh, two new kind of properties that are coming out from Dark Horse that I might have a flip through. The first one is Bedtime Games number one. Uh, the story is three friends explore a mysterious past of their school as the summer break comes to an end when they unleash an evil that preys on their worst nightmares. Again, it's a new horror book, uh, Bedtime Games. It sounds kind of interesting. Definitely have a flip through it, see kind of what I think about the art, but you know me, I love horror, I love horror books. And uh, that's gonna bring me to the next book um, that I would grab, which isn't a horror book, so I don't know why it brings me to it. But uh, that is Modern Fantasy number one. Um, the story reads that it's a young ranger woman uh, her drug-dealing reptilian wizard roommate and her boisterous dwarf maiden best friend forever, BFF, um, embark on a modern-day quest to save the world while struggling to keep their crappy day jobs and are just happy to pay off their student loans. Um, that sounds kind of interesting. I don't know. The only reason why I'm really having a look at it is, is because it's a new series from Henchgo creator Kristen Gudsnuck or Gudsnick. I don't exactly know how to say that. Um, Henchgirl was an indie spec hit. And I'm interested to see how her first series does now that she's left Scout. Let's see if she could kind of repeat it. So I'll definitely have a flip through. It could be something fun. And yeah, that's going to do it for Dark Horse, guys. Next up, Dynamite Entertainment. The first book I'm going to pick up from Dynamite is Vampirella, Roses for the Dead, number one. I'm just looking at the regular Liz Linsner cover here. Uh, Linsner is more hit than miss for me, so I'll be grabbing this one for sure. I really love how he's always got kind of the realistic proportions to his women. You know what I mean? They're not like weird, like, you know, even though, you know, I mean, they still have, you know, those kind of bodies, but I mean, he does tend to be a little bit more on the real side as far as like shapes and proportions so and I mean I do love it I wouldn't go for the virgin because again I, I'm not really gonna overpay him Vampirella is just okay especially as a read so um but yeah I'll be grabbing this for sure to go into my Linsner collection so uh, one dynamite book down in the books lastly this week we're gonna hit up a book from Oni Press and the book I'm gonna grab from Oni Press is Shadow Roads number one this is another new series from Oni Press and it's sold out uh uh, it kind of the solicitation 
loosely reads, the world is thinnest at the crossroads, which is a mythical plane that serves as a doorway through the universe. It is there that a band of adventurers fight back creatures that endanger the world. Um, it's set in the world that remains after the conclusion of Cullen Bunn's um, critically acclaimed Sixth Gun series. Uh, the only thing that's drawing me to this really is Cullen Bunn. I'm not really loving the cover art even. I really would have to flip through and see how the art does on the inside. It looks Old Westy to me or something. I'm not really that big into Old West. I don't know. I'd have, like I said, I'd have to flip. If it looks good enough or something compels me or someone kind of puts me on it while I'm around, I might grab that. But other than that, like I said, only Cullen Bunn really is drawing me to that. So that's a very big maybe. But still, something interesting to have a look at. And that's going to do it for Oni. Well, guys, thanks for joining me for another episode episode of on the hunt you know if you liked and if you like this video make sure you subscribe hit the bell do all that good stuff you know what i mean check out www.saddlecitycomics.com we got a ton of new books and stuff up on there so if you're looking for any keys or anything like that you know we're going to be on there uh, make sure you have a check for all the video content we have coming we recently put up the contest winning video congrats to the winner um also thanks for everybody who played you know we're going to be doing a 500 one which is coming up soon because we were so late on the 100 so you can be looking for that and in pretty much no time hopefully if the subscribers keep going up um yeah thanks a lot for always checking out the video i hope you like these picks i'd love to stay and chat with you guys but time is ticking you know what i mean i gotta get my butt out there and get these books i hope you guys have good luck getting these books too see you next week peace